Hello there, everybody. Bellabo10000 here, bringing you day 10 of my classic mode Super Smash Bros. Ultimate playthroughs. And today, we are taking on Luigi's classic mode, Luigi's Nightmare the Luigi Route. Uh, yesterday, we did Pikachu's classic mode, and it didn't go very well. Uh, so hopefully today, we can redeem ourselves with Luigi's Route and see if maybe we can bring our green Mario to victory. So let's do this. So I'm imagining Luigi is going to be fighting all of the monstrous sort of enemies. Uh, he's very much into like the whole nightmare thing. So Bowser, Ganon, Ridley, basically supernatural beings is what I'm guessing he's going to be fighting. And we have a classic ticket today. Whether I'm going to choose to use it or not, we will see. I might just save it for another classic mode. Who knows? So... First things first is four Toon Links and Luigi's Mansion. Oh no. Oh no, he must be so, so scared. I'm sorry, Luigi. Alright, I'm just gonna... See if I can just get some smash attacks on him. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spend too long here. But at the same time, these guys are probably gonna get annoying if I'm not careful. Alright, so that's his side B. It's been a while since i played as Luigi, so please forgive me. Uh, nice side B, I like it. I need, I need that club. That club is going to be very helpful, given these guys are probably going to have slightly enhanced knockback just because it's a four-person battle rather than a one-person battle. Also, like, that Def Scythe is just sitting there, you know, uh, on Luigi's uh, classic mode. Of course, having Def Scythe there at the very start. Very fitting, uh, given Luigi's experience with Death and how he has died before. Because we've got to remind everyone that, yes, Luigi did, it, in fact, at one point die. Ah, that's got to get him. No, he missed it! No! I thought I was close enough that it would have sucked him in. God damn. Okay. That's cool though, we still won. Uh, I haven't really used Luigi's Final Smash in a very long time, but 61,000 on our first fight, that's actually really good. Usually we get around 57,000, so... Yeah, good job us. Good job, Luigi. Alright, Ridley, of course. He was like, oh god, that's actually, where, where Luigi, uh, not Luigi, where Ridley started on this, this course, that was actually kind of terrifying. Uh, but yeah, I, I think everyone expected Ridley to be one of Luigi's nightmares. Oh my god. Maybe one of the Belmonts might be a, one of his nightmares, possibly? Just because of the whole thing with, you know, death, and he might kind of, like, just blame the Belmonts or something. Or maybe he just, like, gets flashbacks whenever he sees a Belmont. He's like, oh god, I remember that time when I died. Hi, Grey Fox. You sound ridiculous. I'm pretty sure even your original Metal Gear Solid voice didn't sound that mechanized. I can't say I've played Metal Gear Solid 1. I've played Metal Gear Solid 2, so I'm not too sure. Come on, Rid Ridley, can you just leave, please? Please. Alright. There you go. I've, I've done a lot of damage. It's just he's not dying. It's kind of annoying. Come on, Rid Rid Ridders. Look at your percent. Thank you. Look at your percentage, Ridders. So high. 94,000. That's really nice. That is a brilliant score. It's not a nice play, but it's getting me a lot of points early on. Bayonetta? What? Bayonetta? Re oh, well, she's a witch. And Luigi is terrified of strong, powerful women. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, no. Okay, so those are his side Bs. I'm not really a fan of Luigi's uh, specials. I mean, Luigi Rocket is probably fun and can work, but it's obviously one of those ones that if I miss it, then oh no. But if I just keep hitting Bayonetta like this, maybe it won't actually be a problem. Ooh, Boomerang. Can you not, Bayo? Can you not? Can you not beat me up, please? There we go. Oh, sh I'm doing a lot of damage to her, to be fair. Like... I thought I'd be struggling a little bit more, but wow, Bayonetta kind of went down easy. Good job, Luigi. You're facing your fears. Look at him. He's facing his fears. Adorable boy. There you go. Good job, Luigi. Nice play. 7.1. We're already higher than we were with Pikachu. The Mii Fighters? Oh my god. There's one of them dressed up in Jason's hockey mask. There's one of them dressed up as a devil. That's amazing. Gotta say, pretty impressed that after 10 classic modes, I've finally been interrupted mid-recording. Let's continue. 
Usually, uh, it, it doesn't take that long to get me interrupted. I'm surprised I haven't been interrupted beforehand, but yeah, I, I just quickly had to leave and I paused the game and now I'm completely out of the flow, which is slightly annoying because now I'm completely out of the mood, which is an even bigger problem. Also, these guys are destroying me with these weapons. Can, can, oh, it's an Ashley. Oh, I see. It wasn't just being a witch. It was an Ashley witch. Like it was the... Oh no, this, this is going horrific. This is where I'm gonna, this is where I might wanna use my classic ticket because I feel like I can actually get a good score with Luigi. Why is one of them a bear? Nope, I'm done. Not sure why my up B didn't trigger the first time I'd used it, but I'm gonna use my classic ticket because I would like to actually, you know, get through this. Okay, these, these me's sound so dumb with my shit. I love it. I also hate it. I hate these me's, they're so annoying. Oh my God, there's a King K rule me. Oh my God, that's great, I love it. Oh, if I can get that, then my world will be so happy. Everyone would love me. Or I can just get screwed up by the me's. I'm sorry, why are the me's always the ones that give me trouble in these goddamn games? I swear to God, I don't know what it is about me fighters, but they have the, like, the weirdest consistency with just screwing me over in all of these modes. It's nightmarish at times. What are you? What are, what are, what are you? You're, you're a swordsman. You're, oh, you're Majora's Mask. You're Skull Kid. You know what? I run back. Just get out of my face, please. It'll be hilarious if you get hit by this. I've just got to say. There you go. Goodbye. Get out. I'm very annoyed now. I really hate me fighters, and I hate me brawlers especially. They are the worst. They are the worst. All right, we've now got another link, but instead of, it's a it's a big link. Okay. Is his final nightmare going to be Mario himself? The nightmare is that he'll never be uh, good enough for his brother, <laughs> or some bullshit like that. Oh no. I'm not going near your bomb, mate. That's a summon. Do I grab that? Is that like the gimmick? Because I'd like that. No, oh no. Why? Why would you, why would you? Oh, why is it Leviathan? Oh no. I'm staying up here. I, I ain't dealing with this. Get out of here, Link. Yeah, get out of here. You're only fight five. I've got one more fight to go. All right, we are now on a nice 7.4. Who is our final fight before the boss? Little Mac Polygon. Is it because you literally can't see his face, so Luigi is just instantly scared of it? Is that like, that is hilarious. I, I feel like there's a bit more of a reference at play here, but I'm not 100% sure what said reference would be. Oh no, <laughs> that was very dumb of me. Didn't realize that I arced that much. As I said, I'm not the most professional of Luigi players. It's okay though, it's, it's all right. I mean, sure we're fighting on like Little Mac's favorite sort of map. Oh, there's, oh. And now Mr. Ga- what? I did not notice Mr. Ga- Mr. Game and Watch? Why is he scary to Luigi? Now I'm very confused. I'm hoping someone in the comments can explain this specific uh, battle to me, because I'm a little on the confused side. But we did it. And we got a perfect, so that's plus 20,100 points. I didn't even realize we got a perfect, that's amazing. Nice play, 8.3. Yas, queen. Luigi's Nightmares bonus game, let's go. All right, Luigi, let's see how you do on this bonus stage. Okay, running obviously is a good forte of yours. You're good at running, Luigi, so that's good for us. But at the same time, not very fast walking speed, which is a, a, a not like the fastest air movement speed either, which is a little bit worrying. Now let's blow that up. Need all the time I can get. Oh no, we're done. It's not happening. It's not happening. That was, without a doubt, probably one of my worst performances on that bit in a long time. That one's not happening either, because I don't think Luigi really has the tech for it. 
and that's not happening either because I just I can't perform the maneuver when I'm using the Elgato because of the slight delay. Okay, but 1,000, one, one, I'm, I'm okay with that score. I'm all right with that. Please just don't die against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Oh, Dra- Oh, of course we're going against Drac- Oh, no. I'm screwed. I'm not beating Dracula. I was like, oh, joking earlier about the Belmonts. I didn't actually think, oh, yeah, of course he's going to fight Dracula. Duh. I, it never occurred to me that he would have a Dracula boss fight at the end of his route. Never occurred to me. But I love it. So, for those of you that have never seen the Dracula fight, uh, this phase of Dracula can only be injured via his head. You can only hurt him via his head, and I think, like, his upper back, basically. Uh, which makes him a little bit difficult at the start of things. And you want to kind of try and minimize as much damage as possible, because he has a second form. Spo spoilers or not, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, he has a second form. Also, that move just devastated me completely. Okay, that's him using his bats. And the problem is because you can only hit him in the head, there are only certain moves that actually work. So he's actually quite the difficult character to kind of knock the health down. I'm definitely not winning this one one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I'm definitely going to have to lower my difficulty at least once. His second phase, I think you can hit him everywhere, if I recall. The problem is that his second phase, he obviously has a lot of strong attacks. And I don't know how much damage we're going to be doing against him. But arguably, I think his attacks are a little bit easier to avoid in phase two. So he might not actually be as big of an issue. Except for that, that attack. That one kind of destroyed me. And that time I just didn't didn't shield him in time. You know, I could I could still do it. As long as none of these are these things are oh, I'm am I alive? Am I alive? I'm alive, okay. I can definitely beat him uh if I get a reset of health. I can 100 percent beat him if I get health reset. How is Luigi still alive? Luigi is just a very tenacious human. Yeah, we go, yeah. Luigi is a very tenacious human being, and it's okay. I think we can beat him this time 100%. Definitely, I think we can. Like, I don't think we're going to struggle anymore here. Yeah, this this, this is this is basically done. Well, that was actually a little bit risky, because it was on the edge of the stage. But there we go, Dracula is down. Actually a very fun fight. Uh, personally, Greninja is my choice of pick for this fight because he can just use his stomp move on Dracula's head and always hit the weak spot. But you know. And what is our final rating going to be after Dracula's death? Well, at least we're in the eights. So we get a lovely 8.2. Good job, Luigi. All right. Well, I will see you guys at the end of the credits to see what Luigi's picture is and what PNG he gets at the end. I'll see you in a minute. All right, what have we got? What picture is Luigi going to have? It is a lovely picture of Luigi just bagging all of his fears into a train and running. I like to imagine what he's done here is that he has just jumped from that train cart and unhooked it so that that train just goes completely away and Luigi escapes the Incineroar, King K. Rule, Ridley Roundup. Bless him. Bless Luigi. Bless his heart. Okay. What PNG are we going to get? Probably a really basic one, I'm not going to lie. God, that render is weird. Okay, yeah, it's a pretty basic Luigi render. We get a classic ticket, though, which is nice to re uh, replace the one that we wasted on the Miis today. Uh, we also get the map page bonus level from DK, and we get some stuff for the Spirits board. So... Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Day 10, we've just defeated Dracula. Woo, there we go. Richter, why are you on a bus? Of course he's on a bus. Why wouldn't he be on a bus? All right, so I want to thank everyone for hanging out and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Discord for updates every time I post a video or stream. I've not been streaming much lately because I've been a little bit preoccupied and there's a little game series called Kingdom Hearts and I'm kind of trying to catch up on it and it's just eating away at all my free time aside from making videos and I know that the best medicine is just to beat all the games and then I can start streaming again and I'll be more relaxed and ready to go. 
because nobody wants to watch them for some reason. No one wants to watch Kingdom Hearts streams for some reason. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing Ness, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.